All right, Mo's back. A lot of you watched my mystery pack video a couple weeks ago where I opened these uh, mystery packs from Skip the Base. It was a pretty awesome mystery pack. Uh, definitely got my money's worth. Uh, if you remember, we had a Mark McGuire 85 Team USA card, a numbered Mike Trout, a Shohei, a numbered Ozzy Albies, 74 Bob Gibson, a 68 Roger Maris. Um, we had a J Rod prospect card, um, the autographed and numbered Brooks Robinson card, which was awesome. And that one also included a, a graded rookie card, um, which was a PSA 9 Wander Franco. Unfortunately, these were all, all these mystery packs were packaged and put together prior to all of his controversy. Otherwise, that would have been an awesome, awesome hit. Um, but anyway, despite that card, it was a, a very successful mystery pack as far as I'm concerned. So I snatched up a couple more of them before this guy ran out. Um, and we'll open these today and compare them to the first one. Neither one of these came with a, a graded a graded rookie, but uh, since the first one was Wander, I, I think it doesn't matter. So we'll start with this one. It looks a little bit thinner. I think this one might have a, uh, a bonus at the bottom like that Brooks Robinson card was. So we'll save that one for a second. We'll do this smaller one first and uh, compare to the first one. See if I got my money's worth again. I'm thinking I will because it's... Well, these have been pretty good so far. All right. We start off with a Derek Jeter with a piece of game-worn jersey. A Derek Jeter relic. Not too bad. I don't know what year this is. Fleer tradition. 19... No. 2003. So that's pretty cool. I hate the Yankees, but... I know there's a, a ton of you out there that that love them, so I could easily find a buyer for this card, I'm sure, if I don't want to hang on to it. Dennis Eckersley. I think this is his rookie card. Seventy six. 76, Dennis Eckersley. Very nice. Cedric Mullins. Auto, out of 45. Rookie card. That is pretty cool. Certified on-card auto, out of 45. Ronald Acuna. Obviously, he's... Probably going to win the uh, MVP this year. That's a cool looking card. Another Brooks Robinson. How cool is that? Corners are a little rough, but I believe this is a 60... 67 or 69? 69. Very cool. 1969. And a Topps Chrome Mike Trout. Is this a sepia refractor or the negative? It's just.
Mike Trout cards are always good. Pretty cool. Louis Varland. His first Bowman on card auto. Louis Varland. Harmon Killebrew, 72 tops. Obviously a Hall of Famer. One of the all-time great home run hitters. He's in the 500 home run club. 72, right? Yep. We got a Juan Soto. I'm not familiar with this, this card. Who is that? Panini. 2022 Panini. Out of number to 199. That's pretty cool. Johnny Bench. One of the greatest catchers of all time. 1978 tops. Very nice. Another J Rod. Bowman Chrome Hi Fi Futures. Julio Rodriguez. Very cool. Another Roger Maris. A Yankees one. I'm not sure what year this one is. 66 tops. Roger Maris. Very cool. Donner's Optic, Mike Trout, Diamond Kings. Very nice. Or Panini Optic. Prism Optic. I'm not familiar with cards when they're not <laughs> Tops or Fleer or, you know, the traditional ones. But it's cool. Hey, there's a Wade Boggs rookie. That's nice. It's the 83 Fleer. Whoa. Very nice. Condition of this one looks great, too. Corners are pretty sharp. Pretty well centered. That one might be a candidate to send for grading. Looks really good. Boggs rookie. And we end with a Fernando Tatis. Is that Panini Spectra? Fernando Tatis. Numbered to 75. That is a very nice card. All right. So that was uh, the first mystery pack. Let me know what you think of that one. Definitely some, some nice cards in there. Let's open up this one. It's a little bit thicker. That's because we got a, a one-touch holder in the back here. Let's uh, cover these up with the Tatis that we got already. Reveal them one at a time. Robin Yount. I think this is 1979 tops. Seventy-nine is definitely notorious for being terribly miscut, off-centered. This one is no exception. But Robin Yount. Yep, this is definitely 79. Very nice. William Lugo, on card auto, his first Bowman Chrome. It's a good looking autograph. Don't know if he's a good looking player yet, but I'm sure we'll see here in the next couple years. There's a Tony Gwynn rookie from 83 Donruss. Very nice. That one looks to be in pretty good shape, too. So from 83, we've got Boggs and we've got Tony Gwynn rookie cards today. 
This one's kind of coming out of the case here. Let's, there we go. I'm a huge Tony Gwynn fan. I miss that we don't have guys that can hit like him in the game today. I can't stand seeing guys hitting 220 with 30 home runs. Now, if they can hit 300 and hit 30 home runs, that's something special, in my opinion. Here we got a Derek Jeter. What's that say? Stadium Club. Spraying some champagne everywhere. Top Stadium Club 2022. Like I said before, Jeter's not my favorite, but we got a Juan Marichal. That would be 66. 65. I was close. I was close. That was a little rough here on the back. Corners over here. But it's hard to find cards that are, you know, almost 60 years old in great shape but anyway that's cool I have one other 65 tops in my collection it's a Yogi Berra so that one will be added to it Inception Henry Mendez out of 200 on card auto that's a cool looking card Base Prospect Auto, Hendri Hendry Mendez, 2022 Bowman Inception. That is a sweet looking card. Again, we'll see in a couple years or so, or 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 so if he's any if he's any good. Hold on to that one and see what happens. Thurman Munson. Rookie card. That is awesome. Dave McDonald. Thurman Munson rookie. That's cool. Again, even though I hate the Yankees, that's a sweet card. Another Mike Trout numbered to 2022. That's a that's a lot of cards. The Millville Meteor. Donner's 22. 88 Retro. It's got some. Rough corners there at the top for a newer card. But it's still Mike Trout. We got a Prism Andy Young rookie out of twenty five. That's cool. Another guy to keep an eye on here in the future. This looks like 81 Fleer. Steve Carlton, Pitcher of the Year. Yep, 81 Fleer. That's nice. Steve Carlton's great. Love Steve Carlton. Nice. Tom Seaver. This is, I don't know, 1976. Very nice. Tom Seaver, another all-time great pitcher. Two of them back-to-back -back there. 
We got another Juan Soto. Tops Chrome. Oh, an All Star. Juan Soto All Star game. That's pretty cool. I don't like how these are starting to slide out of the top though. Nice that they're put all put in top loaders. We got a retro 65 tops of Aaron Judge. Not bad. Too many Yankees in these packs though for my liking. That's all right. I'll find someone to sell them to. Tops Archives. Kent Herbeck on card auto out of 65. That's pretty neat. From the Tops Archives. And we're down to our top loaded card here. And it's a Moises Alou auto. A one of one. That's my first ever one of one. Moisey Salou was a decent player back in the day, so I guess I can't be too disappointed about that. I'll take it. Who's that? I see Moisey Salou. Who's the other signature on there? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Not sure. All right, so that's both of those mystery packs. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I don't think they were quite as good as the first one, just based on you know the players that I like and what I'm usually interested in in collecting. But there were still some really good cards in there. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and like and subscribe. I'll be posting some more stuff uh, pretty soon. Thanks for watching.